your way, your way. Try and find your way, your way, your way. Life is like a maze, your way, your way. Try and find your way, your way. Come back this Sorry, guy. I, I didn't plan it that way. It just happened, man. I forgot to tell you about it. Sorry, man. Could have at least called to tell us now. We tried your land, your number, it wasn't going. We didn't know what to think again. Sorry, we went shopping and I just forgot to tell you about the time. Where's Fred? He got so angry that he went to bed. Uh, man, sorry, man. I didn't plan it. It just happened. We're shopping. Let's go inside now. The caddy. Yeah. Yes, now. No, go with this. You know? Yes, now. Oh, <laughs> you can be what you have dreamed if you help other people's ah, dreams. Thank you so, so much, sweetie. I had so much fun. You're welcome. I had fun too. Your friends are really fun to be with, you know? <laughs> oh, yes, they are. You know, ever since I lost my parents years back, and I really did not have anyone to call family except my friends. And okay. being an only child too, okay. and every other family I know lives in the United States. So, my friends are my family. Wow, that's good. They're really fun to do it. Oh yes, they yeah. are. Yeah, that reminds me. When next week am I going to see your parents? Um, like I explained to you before now, uh, my dad is a very busy person. He's always traveling on different business trips. And um, my mom also is very busy. But um, not to worry, we would get to see them soon. I'm even thinking of inviting them over instead of we traveling to this city. <gasps> it's nice. <laughs> yes, it is. Um, <clears throat> but I hope you've not forgotten about um, check. You mean the one million I check? Oh, I can't forget. Okay. I will give you next week as promised. Wow. <laughs> Thank you so much, Sidi. Well, much. well, I have a surprise for you. Surprise? Can you guess? Yeah. Surprise? Yeah. No, I can't. Yes. yes. Um, okay, let's see, let's see. Just Please. tell me, what is it? I can't guess. Just tell me, what's the surprise? Yes. Yes. Um, okay, okay, let's see, um... Yes! You bought me a car as promised. Better than that. Are you serious? What could be better than you buying me a car? Just hold on. Let me show you. Ta-da! This... What's this? This is a sample of a wedding invitation card. I asked the printer to come up with a sample for me to see. Look at it. Adora Web James. Isn't it nice? Adora Wade James. Yeah. You are joking, right? I've never been more serious in my life. Madam Adora. What did you call me now? Please, with due respect, I beg you in the name of God, if this is a joke, stop it. Because it's too expensive for my liking. It's just a sample, for goodness sake. And what is wrong with printing our wedding invitation card? I mean, we will soon be married. People. Stop calling me baby boy. My name is James. Uh, and stop making this thing sound serious, though. Uh -uh. How can you go and print a wedding invitation without my consent and you wrote my name on it as, as the groom? Uh, what's the meaning of that? Hmm. So you've been serious all this while that you've been saying we will get married, we will get married. You've been serious. James, I have never, I've never been more serious. Please, Madam Adora, you are wicked, you are heartless, and you don't have the fear of God. And I beg you as from this minute, don't come to my house again. I've never met you before in my life, and I don't want to ever see you again, please. Baby boy. Stop calling me baby boy. My name is James. How can you go? How can you go and do this? You are older than my mother in case you don't know. Baby boy, what is wrong? Please. Hey, why are you talking to me like this? 
I thought we were in love. You, you thought, thought wrongly. You thought wrongly. And this is wickedness of the highest order. Leave me alone. Please, baby. Boy. My name is James. Stop calling me baby boy. You are looking for trouble. You are looking for trouble, Madam Adora. Please, don't make me disrespect you. Don't look for my trouble. Don't come to my house again, like I said. Please, I beg you in the name of God. Leave me. Brought out cat. Oh, eh, eh, Adora with James. <laughs> <laughs> what is funny now? No, what is funny? Oh, boy. I'm explaining something that is really getting me angry, and you guys are laughing. What is funny? Adora with James. <laughs> Bad friends, you are bad friends. I'm just getting to know today. How can you be laughing about such delicate issues? Okay, okay, Patrick. Mm. Let's try to be good friends, okay? okay? Let's stop laughing. Okay. Okay. When is the wedding? <laughs> James, James, it's, it's just very really funny, you know. I'm just a bad name, what good of you will look like on that day of the way. God forbid. God forbid. Me and Madame Adora. Oh, 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 what's that? What will people say? But she's rich. Oh. You have a target. Exactly. And you haven't met your target. Oh. You don't understand what I'm saying, baby. She showed me wedding invitation. You know? That woman that is old enough to be my mother. How heartless can someone be here in this life? <laughs> so, <laughs> so, suddenly, eh, you came back to your senses when you saw your wedding invitation card, eh? She charmed me, don't you understand, Patrick? Uh. She charmed me. Each time I see her, eh, I don't see the real her. I, I, I see a young lady in her early 20s. Seriously? You were charmed I... by your greed. Yes. Your greed for money. You became dumb. Deaf and even blind, finally. Huh? You were actually blinded by designer shirts? Yes! She blocked your ear with expensive perfumes. She replaced your conscience with expensive footwears and covered your brain with enough naira notes. But, 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 but wait, you come to think of it. Some women are wicked in this life. Oh. Mm. How can a woman old enough to be my mother? Eh, a woman that her expiry date is around the corner wants to marry a fresh young guy like me with none of that number. So it is now that you realize that the woman is old enough to be your mother. Hmm? You are lucky that I'm not Madadora. I will not let you go just like that. You will marry by force. Marry fire. They're the first person marry. No, they're the first person marry for this life. Please, please, guys. I'm serious though, I don't want to ever see Madame Adora here again. I don't know her, I've never met her before, and I don't want to have anything to do with Madame Adora. Again, please. <laughs> James Wits Adora. <laughs> Baby boy. <laughs> Find your way, your way, your way. Life is like a maze. Your way, your way. Try and find your way, your way, your way. Life is like a maze. Good afternoon, ma. How may I help you? James, why have you not been picking my calls? And why have you been calling me? Why have you not been picking my calls, James? Why have you been disturbing me with calls, Madame Adora? Look, I came here to ask you just one question. And I want a straight answer. What question? Are you serious you're cancelling our wedding um, plan? Please, point of correction. There was never any wedding plan. So I will answer that question only if you can rephrase it to suit my knowledge. Okay, I rephrase it. Are you serious you're canceling our relationship? 
Yes, ma. I am serious. But baby boy... Don't call me baby boy, please. My name is James. How many times do you want me to tell you that? And as for why we can no longer be together, think about it. If your son brings home your age mates as his wife to be, what would you tell him? I don't want you to answer it all. Just think about it. Baby boy. Age is just an ordinary number. Thank you. I know. Love is a thing of the heart. I know, but I still don't want to have anything to do with you again. And please, for the last time, don't call me baby boy. My name is James. Baby boy. Yes, mommy. You want me to die young? Eh? How can you think of marrying me? Okay. Okay. Look. If you have the slightest idea of what this breach of agreement will cost you, believe me, you will not even think of it. What breach of agreement? What breach of agreement? I can't remember signing any agreement with you. And don't threaten me, please, because I don't respond well to threat. I thought you were only being nice to me, say, like a mother to a son. I don't know your thoughts towards me are thoughts of evil. Me? Mm, yes. Okay, okay. Now that I know that you're serious in cancelling our wedding plans, I will let you go. Thank you. I but appreciate it. Only one condition. condition. What condition? In this list, this list consists of everything I have given you. The lunch, the dinner dates, shoes, perfumes, the clothes, the cash. I want them back in three days. Here. Three days, James. And if by chance you can't find any of them, I will take the cash as a replacement. But I tell you, I give you three days. Did you hear me? Three days, boy. Three days. Your way, your way, try and find your way, your way, your way, life is like a maze, your way, your way. <laughs> Patrick. <laughs> the last door. Patrick, no, no, I don't think so. She's not trying to scare you, Patrick. She was serious. She meant it. She said she wants everything on this list back in three days. Honestly, I've never seen a woman as wicked as Madame Adora before. Can you see? Ice cream, recharge card. She's a devil. Oh, so it is now that you know she's a, she's a devil, eh? When you were going around with her on shopping spree, you didn't know she was a devil. She was the gloss doing. Now that she wants everything back, she has now become a devil. And we thank God I have not used any of the shirts you gave me, or the perfume. They are all intact. See, she can't collect these things back. Uh -uh. He's angry you think your mind uh, concerning the wedding thing. She's just trying to scare you. No cause for alarm. She's angry she will get over it. Patrick, you don't understand, though. You don't understand. If you saw her when she came, you would understand what I'm saying. When she threw this list at me, you need to see the fire in her eyes. But uh, let's assume she meant it, eh? And that she's serious, that she wants everything back. The perfume and the shirt I give you, she would not understand. James, I told you she can't collect all these things back. She's just trying to show you how bitter she is. She made this list out of annoyance. Patrick, no, you don't understand. This list is so accurate. She started making this list right from our first date. See, our lunch date, dinner date. See, the list is too accurate. Can't you see? See the total figure here: three hundred and twenty naira, seven hundred and twenty-five, three hundred and twenty thousand, seven hundred and twenty-five naira. I never knew she had spent so much on me. How will you know? How will you know? Of course, you were enjoying the money, and you thought the woman would continue to be your ATM machine. She had better be joking. Where will I get so much money to refund? I think you should be asking yourself that question. See, I've told you, she's only trying to scare you. Huh? It's a trash. She can't collect all those things back. I mean, chill. Your way, 
your way. Try and Where find is my properties way. and money you stole from my apartment? Stole? How can you accuse me of stealing Adora? Eh? Eh? Don't you ever call me Adora. Call me Madame Adora. And I will show you how ugly it can be when a woman's love turns into hatred. Now, is my property and money ready? I did not steal anything from your apartment. You gave them to me yourself. Oh, okay. Officer, that's a thief. I am not a thief! How can you call, how, 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 how can you call me a thief? Move, how can you call, you call me a thief? Officer, 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 take it easy with this guy now. Move. He's not a thief. I am not a thief! How can, how, how can you call me a thief? How can you call me a thief? I presume you guys have my list. When you get my properties and money. You can be what you have dreamed If you help other people's dream You may not have all the wealth For you can mend someone's broken heart Somehow it's on a and comes back to you Getting all those things back What are we going to do about it? This guy report to the police. And tell them what? Uh, that our friend was kidnapped by some soldier. Listen, I think we should just do what Madame Adora has asked. <laughs> Which is? Refund everything. That is impossible. Fred, you're talking like you didn't see that list. Everything on that list is 320,725 naira. How are we going to refund that? Let us at least try. First of all, you go in there and bring all the necklaces, all the perfumes, all the designer shirts and everything that you got. Let's put that together first, then we will now know what to do about the cash. That would be very hard, though. That is impossible. Why? Eh? I don't know. See, they, I have almost finished the perfume that he gave me. So what am I meant to do? Eh, just buy another one now. That's simple. How can? How can't? Eh? Tell me, how can't? You have to go and look for the cash that you got from that unrighteous gift. That would be hard. I can't even remember the exact figure he gave me. So I don't know what to do about it. Patrick, you have to remember. You have to remember. Because I don't know what James is going through at that barracks now. I mean, I would even suggest that I will go in there and bring everything that we have in the room that we have already. Life is like a book with a new page. Open every day. Open every day. No matter the thoughts you face. Uh, why you put that aside? Uh, this is not part of Madame Adora's property. So I bought this one myself. When did you buy it? Mm, sometime last week. Wait, wait, wait. Is it from the money that James gave you? Then it is not your own. I have to put it back. Let me advise you, young man. You see, when a woman is in love, she could do anything to show you how much she loves you. But when that love turns to hatred, she could do anything to show you she hates you. Now that you have peacefully returned my properties and my cash, you can now peacefully go our separate ways. And it was a pleasure doing business with you, baby boy. You?